And um, your son uh, recently had some back surgery and yeah. really stressful for you. And um, you know, how, are, how have you been able to like really keep maintaining this lifestyle during the stressful times? I know a lot of people they something comes up life crisis and they just they have they go back to eating comfort foods and kind of drop off the wagon you know it's so funny because i almost thought that i would in fact i mean i'm not gonna lie i was eyeing things in the hospital cafeteria <laughs> it's like all right nobody would know you know i'm here by myself i was there for a week and at first i was really gung-ho brought my fruit people oh, brought me yeah. fruit and um, they had a really good salad bar, and my mom brought me salad and everything. Oh, nice. And it seemed like almost like I had a guardian angel because every time I was this close to to going down and seeing what you know, mm, pizza, mm, that's still vegetarian, you know, <laughs> something like that. How you rationalize? Yeah. You can come up with an excuse for anything if you want it bad enough. <laughs> um, but then my mom would be like, I made you this beautiful salad, and oh. brought it to me. So it's almost like I had a guardian angel every time I needed it. But mm -hmm. also just. Um, I have things I say to myself that really help me when I want to, when I want to, I'll, like I'll say to myself, you'll feel so much better if you don't. And that seems nice. to be a powerful thing because it just resonates to me. I will feel so much better if I don't. It's not worth the five minutes of yum for the, you know, days and weeks of regret and trying to sweat it back off in the gym or whatever. And another thing that I say to myself is just, well, what if you didn't right now? You know, no, <laughs> just kind of try to talk yourself out of it. That's awesome. And if you still want it, you know, in an hour or two hours, then go ahead and have it. By then, I'm invariably distracted. So it really is. What if I just didn't do it right now? I think that's, that's a lot awesome. of a lot of um, being successful in anything is just being able to talk yourself out of the things that you don't want to do. <laughs> that is great. I really love that strategy rather than saying, no, I can't have that. It's like... And how about not right now and see how you feel later I love that that's the first time I've ever heard somebody say that like that's the first time I've ever heard that way of looking at it and I think that's amazing and it really it really does seem if you make it for an hour or something you're gonna be distracted and if you really want it in an hour then it probably is something that maybe you should just go ahead and have and get out of your system and there have been times when I've done that too but um it, most of the time I can talk myself out of it by then. That's awesome. And it's like talk yourself out of it and immediately have something good. Like if you still want it after an hour and this apple, then you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it after an hour and an apple. <laughs> that is awesome. And what advice would you give for someone that out there that's lost a, a significant amount of weight and uh, but they still got a long way to go so they're still hanging in there? It's hard, you know, I think of it as other people maybe have to climb a molehill and I have a mountain, you know. I built oh. the mountain myself, but I have a mountain to climb and it does take, um, it is kind of a trick of keeping yourself motivated over time because it feels like it, somebody can lose, I lost 40 pounds in six weeks and they're done, they're, they're there and I lost 40 pounds in six weeks and I have 40 more to go in the next six weeks and so on and so on. Um, what I, a lot of things I do is try to focus on the process, not the results. So um, I, I, you know, I want to eat a certain amount of fruit. I want to eat my greens. I want yeah. to get my smoothies in. Concentrate on those kinds of things instead of what the scale says. And, nice. and just kind of let the pounds fall where they will. And I think to my, I tell myself, and I think it's true, it's physically impossible to eat really, really healthfully and do everything right, at least for myself. I know my body, if I do the right things, it's going to respond the right way. So it's just kind of having faith that it's going to happen and not focusing so much on that. It's more of a process goal than a, instead of saying, I want to lose 100 pounds or 150 pounds or whatever, I want to stay on my plan today. I want to walk, you know, if I walked 30 minutes yesterday, I want to try to walk 40 minutes next week or something. So. I try to focus on what can I do today because I can't tomorrow will take care of itself and all of the only thing that really has potential or has an opportunity is right now what can I do right now that's going to get me closer to my goal and just not not think about how long it's going to take well what if yeah it's gonna, it might take me two years to lose all the weight that I need to lose but where will I be in two years if I don't so it, that kind of thinking just screws you up anyway <laughs> <laughs> Right on. That's some awesome advice, and it's just been such a great time hanging out here with Mallory. We've been 
whipping up some raw goodies. She made some amazing pasta sauce, to, raw pasta sauce tonight, and zucchini noodles. And um, yesterday we had this awesome spread with all kinds of veggies and yummus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what I call hummus, the raw zucchini hummus. Two things I want to tell people is, number one, you totally need to host Raw Dog and Amanda and Shadow and Isabel. No, seriously, how how much fun is it to have a raw chef in your house? Hello, this has been amazing, and I've been like, I think this recipe could use a little something. What do you think? <laughs> you know, and then he totally ends up doing it for you. So no, no, I'm just <laughs> so that has been incredible. And then their daughter is beautiful. Their dog is the most. They won like the dog lottery. Seriously. Um, but then the other thing is just Amanda is so inspiring and it's just reminding me so much of why I want to do it and why I want to do it now and what else can I do to live my life now, you know, it's really, a, it's just an awesome, inspiring thing. And also, um, I want to say for anybody that might be new to RAW or transitioning or even old to RAW and just want some really good, solid recipes that are not complicated, that use stuff you find in your grocery store, you don't have to mail away for, or, you know, go out foraging for, or whatever, um, get, get Rory's book, um, Getting Raw. I hate it, and he, he, they did not tell me to say either one of those things, they're both going, what? But it's the best book, it's honestly the one I use the most. Um, I come back to, you know, the, I come back to the websites, but I come back, the of all the books on my shelf, the one I come back to the most is, is getting raw with the raw dog and it's really and you're hilarious that's oh, thank what makes you. it very um and it's when i tell people that or how did you these are that way you know if i think that they're sincere then that's the one that i recommend so I just, oh, thank you so much well, thank you guys for coming i'm so excited oh. so excited to meet you for reals <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome it was such a fun time Great. i'm rocking it you Found too it. <laughs> see you everybody